you uh, introduce yourself and tell me, tell me where we at. Tevin Allen, on a Gold Feed Global. We at Fort Lauderdale right now, Shirley Park. Yes, sir. And so, uh, can you tell us like a background about you and uh, how you like what we got going here? My name is Tevin Allen. You know I, mean? I uh, went to Western High School, transferred to St. Thomas High School. Uh, ended up going to Illinois State on full scholarship. Got my degree from there as well. Yeah. Um, and then starting a brand called Gold Feed Global, where I just want to promote the grind and help kids out. Yes, sir. And so, um, how long has it been since you uh, started? Six years. Six yeah, years. Summer 2014. Well, yeah, I was actually in college at the time. I mean, it was really, it was really fun. You know what I'm saying? I was at my all-time low. Okay. Uh, at the time, you feel know I me? Mean? And you know, I got bench, 185 GPA, mm. and everything was going bad. Lost sight of God, and I just called my old girl, and I basically had her pray for me. And you know, I talked to God about you know some direction, you know, yeah. leading me, leading me into the right, uh, right path. Start a gold feet because my homeboy um, was in high school. I always used to say gold feet. We always used to go through the ladders, you feel me, killing it. Yeah. Uh, so I called him and I was like, hey, I got something. You feel me? And that's when I ended up making an Instagram called Gold Feet ENT. Okay. Uh, then Gold Feet ENT, ENT got deleted, you feel me, from Instagram. Okay. I was like, man, I'm going global with this Gold Feet Global. You know, mm -hmm. the rest is history. All right. And so what school was that? You said you was at? Illinois State. Illinois State. Okay. And um, so, so. Like getting started, we say it was hard getting started. Like how was it, like the process been since you've been doing it over the years? Oh my goodness, that's that's a whole conversation in itself, but uh, ended up getting cut by the CFL, uh, Winnipeg Blue Bombers. I was at mini camp in Bradenton. Um, but I just lost love of the game, you know what I'm saying? Not, not because, you know, I didn't want to play football. It's just I let society, I let other people around me, you know, dictate, you know, where I wanted to be in life, where I was going in life. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people saying I ain't gonna make it, a lot of people saying I'm small, you know what I'm saying? I let that affect me, you know what I'm saying? I let that, you know, get me off of my alignment. So I feel like gold feet, I started loving it more than football. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To where, like, it's, it was a hard process. Like, I was broke most of the time that everybody was calling me gold feet, and, mm -hmm. you know, it was a lot going on, you know, around here. Like, everybody knew who I was outside the States. You know, but at the same time, I was riding a bike, staying at my homeboy crib. So, mm -hmm. you know, you see that reality and that enter entertainment, you know, where it's like on social media, you know, I got 30K followers and in real life, I'm broke. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's been hard throughout this time, but I never let anybody see, you know, any of that. Now, if you was around me, you know, you know, the struggle that we've been through and, and we persevere, obviously, you know, being, you know, the best training company in the world, you feel me? If we mm -hmm. Best training company in the United States, we're the best training company in the world. So, mm -hmm. man, I just thank God for, for putting me in position to where, you know, I was the sacrifice. I was a person that, you know, had the ability to go to the NFL, you feel me? But I feel like it's something greater now. It's a bigger platform. And, and I found my purpose to be able to give more people hope and help people, you know, like accomplish their dreams and goals and still have another route in life, yeah. you feel me, other than football, because you know football not forever. Yeah. You know, and I feel like I'm the the face of more than football. Okay. You know, being 28 years old, been in it for six years, had the company when I was 22 years old, and really, like, had the hardest time in my life to be like, okay, let me put up the cleats, mm. you feel me, and do God's work, let God use me. You feel me? Ever since then, man, you know, it's been blessings all around. We still gonna keep going up, still gonna keep elevating. You know, and I'm still gonna thank God in the process. Yes, sir. Uh, what do you try to focus on? Um, first of all, like on the field, how to develop players, and what's your overall impact on uh, right, right. players? Yeah, this is this has nothing to do with like ladder drills, nothing to do with speed training, nothing to do with catching a touchdown. Uh, it's about the mental first. You feel me? The strongest mindset wins. Mm -hmm. So. A lot of things on social media, you see fast footwork, you know what I'm saying you see a lot of people routing somebody up, locking somebody down, but behind the scenes, and I can, I think you can be, you know, you can attest to this, that this is something totally different from what you see. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, we really out here with these kids. We really in them trenches. Like, we, we really care about them. We really love these kids, you know, past football. Like, we literally take these kids home, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Buy Ubers for them, get them some food. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, go to their graduations, go to their signings. Like, it's something, i am be honest with you, bro, I care less about football. You know, football is a stepping stone, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I thank God football, you know, put me in position to be where I'm at right now, and I'm using it, you know what I'm saying, to for God's work. This is man-made, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like God gave us a gift, you know what I'm saying? Let's Why, why not take football 
you know, to be able to get a bigger platform so, you know what I'm saying, can give all of these other kids and these guys great faith, you mm. feel me, and confidence just to go about life, you mm. know what I'm saying, so outside of that, all of that football stuff, easy, mm. you feel me, like I can teach anybody how to how to shake, I can teach anybody how to back belt. I can teach anybody, you know, how to get a scholarship, you know what I'm saying, but that has nothing to do with actually getting a scholarship, you feel me, it's your grades, you feel me, having good character, morals, values, you know what I'm saying? Taking care of your people, you feel me? If adversity hit, how are you gonna overcome that? You know, so, man, it's more than, it's way more than football. Like, the focus is, you feel me, like, doing God's work, you feel me? Letting God use me to, to I'm a hope dealer, you know what I'm saying? Hope like, dealer. real life, real I life. like that. Okay, and then, uh, just real quick, uh, I see Antonio Brown made it to the Super Bowl. You have any thoughts on that? Like, yeah, just, amazing, uh, man. I'm so proud of that boy. Call him. Call him. <laughs> yeah, call him. Call him. Yeah, man. So I got a chance to work with AB. Okay. Great dude, great personality. And he worked hard, man. And you see what, what comes out of working hard. And he went through his adversity. He persevered. You know what I'm saying? He's still learning. He's still growing. And had the great humility to be able to stay in Tom Brady's house and, mm -hmm. and get his mind right. He back with his family. You see his his wife with him, his kids with him, on, yeah. in the confetti. You know what I'm saying? We all go through stuff. You feel me? We all go through stuff. So, yeah. And just persevere, man. Keep going. You feel me? Keep God first. I was gonna ask like uh, a message uh, to like people watching, like kids. Do you have a message to? Uh, yeah. Uh, bet kids? on yourself. You know I mean? Bet on yourself. Whatever you want, you can achieve. But it's certain things, right? It's a belief right here, and it's certain things under it. Why do you believe in this thing? You feel me? Hard work, great faith. You feel me? You gotta put these tools together. You feel me to accomplish your dreams and your aspirations. So, bet on yourself, man. If you really want it, you feel me? Knock out everything. You feel me? Outside. You feel me? All of us, all of the society, what they think of you. You too small. You too this. Nah, it's somebody that's just like you that accomplished exactly what you wanna accomplish. You feel me? It's nothing new. You feel me? It's all an everlasting cycle, bro. Got you. All right, uh, say go feet. Um, shit, thank y'all for having me, and uh, this is great work. Uh, you want to say anything to people uh, try, that's trying to come get some work, like uh, a message to them if they want to come and get some work out here? Yeah, follow us on social media. It's at Goldfeet Global. Uh, anybody's welcome. I know a lot of people see NFL players and a lot of top college players. Uh, you might get intimidated, but, you know, we train five years old and up. Uh, we really in the trenches with these guys, really trying to do God's work, you feel me? And everybody welcome, man. It's all love, man. I do everything out of love. And I got two older brothers, uh, Tyree and Junior. I'm the youngest one, so um, I basically learn everything for them. Um, and I want to be able to, you know, give back, you know, and, and, and do something for somebody, you know, younger than me and, and bring these kids up the right way. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Much love, bro. So.